Last week, we discussed how to make an academic plan in Carter Compass. This week, we will be talking about how to contact your advisor and also how to go about registering for classes. So part of your assignment this week will be contacting your advisor. If you're unsure of your advisor, log into Carteret Compass, click on Student Planning, and then click on the Advising tab. There you will find your name of your advisor, and you can also email them directly from Carteret Compass. If you would like to know your advisor's contact information and you're unsure of where they're located on campus, at the bottom of our carteret.edu homepage, there is a Directory tab. When you click on the directory, you can search for your advisor by last name. If you are still uncertain about who your advisor is, make sure you reach out to me, your ACA instructor. When emailing your advisor to set up an appointment, make sure that you are professional in your email. I have posted this week for you multiple templates that you can use, and basically from there you can just fill in the blank to email your advisor. Now, if you are not able to come to campus for an advising appointment, when you email your advisor, you need to ask them to review your academic plan, and also in your email, you need to state what classes you want to register for for next semester. That way, you two can then have a dialogue about what classes would work best for your program. But in this template here, notice you start with a salutation of dear Mr. or Mrs. and their last name. Start with a greeting, hope you're doing well, fill in your name, and make sure you let your advisor know that they're one of your advisees. Please realize that some advisors have over 50 advisees, so it's hard for them to keep up with who their advisees are. So make sure you state that you're one of their advisees. State that you're emailing to set up a time to meet. And then in your second paragraph, give some times and some dates that you're available to come to campus. That way your advisor has something to choose from. At the bottom, thank them for their time and then sign off with your name. Once you and your advisor have gotten together and approved your classes for next semester, it's time to then search and register for classes through Carteret Compass. You will want to make sure that you check for flags on your account that may prevent you from registering. When you log into Carteret Compass, flags will show up in the top right hand corner. Some examples of flags are at the top of the slide. That includes a library fine, a business hold, residency application, or financial aid. These are just examples of some of the flags that you will need to see. You will need to visit these areas and get these flags taken care of before you're allowed to register for classes. Other flags include academic warning, and that is a student that has attempted between 12 and 23 credit hours with a GPA less than 2.0, or academic probation, those that have attempted between 24 to 32 credit hours with a GPA of less than 2.0. Both of these two flags will need to be lifted by your advisor. Ad academic suspension are those students that have completed more than 32 credit hours with a GPA of less than 2.0. Those students must first meet with a student advocate, and that is on, with student services on the first floor of the McGee building. Make sure that when you're searching for classes that you pay attention to what types of classes you are registering for. I have posted a document this week on Moodle that describes the different section numbers and the different symbols that can be attached to classes that will tell you if you're registering for a traditional class, an internet class, an eight-week class, or other types of classes as well. There is a document this week posted on Moodle that walks you through step by step how to register for your classes. Also, the video last week that went over how to plan for classes is also posted this week as the end of the video will show you how to register for classes as well. When you log into Carteret Compass under student planning and then plan and register for your classes, you will access the schedule tab. For the courses you have planned, you can use view other sections to see all of the offerings. Once you choose a section, it will appear on your calendar. Online sections will appear at the bottom of your calendar. You will not have registered for classes until you hit the Register Now button. It is very important for you to realize that just because your classes appear on the calendar until they have turned green, indicating that you have registered, you have not yet officially registered for classes. If you're unsure as to whether or not you registered for your classes, you can email me or your advisor. 
What happens if you change your mind about your schedule? You can change your schedule up until classes start in Carteret Compass. If you're changing just sections, you will not need to get approval from your advisor. However, if you are changing courses, you will ne then need to get approval again from your academic advisor. After classes start the first week, a student may add or drop classes from their schedule with their advisor. But after the first week of classes, you will then need to use a drop form to drop a class. A 16-week course cannot be added after the first week, but you may add a late start class or an 8-week course during the semester. Over on the right-hand side, I have given you instructions for how to access a drop, add, or withdrawal form. Let's go over some tips for making a start smart schedule. The first tip is to challenge yourself but be realistic. Be careful with how many courses you are packing into one day and also be careful with what types of courses you are putting in your schedule. I always tell my advisees it's probably not a good idea to take, for example, your math and science course in the same semester unless you're an associates in science major. Try to spread out your courses. Keep in mind college level classes require more, stu more time for studying and reading. Be aware of your learning styles and habits. So if you're not a morning person, maybe an 8 a.m. class would not work for you. Or if you have long breaks in your day, ask yourself would you be motivated enough to go back to your afternoon class. Know your strengths and challenges so you can be true to yourself in your schedule. Find a balance between required courses and electives. So a lot of our programs will have required courses, but they have electives that you have the ability to choose from. It's good to mix those together in a semester, that way you have a balance between the two. Make sure you have time for extracurricular commitments without prioritizing him. So be mindful of your lives outside of classroom. Most of us have work or family and also social experiences. Make them a priority and try to find time for work and family and friends. Research the class before registering. A lot of times you can do this by talking to your classmates, but you can also even email the instructor and ask about the work and expectations in the course, especially if you're having a heavy semester. Prioritize your classes based on how many sections are offered. So I give you an example here. If you wanted to take math and psychology, and when you look at the courses, there's only two different sections of math and 10 different sections of psychology, Put math on your schedule first and then adjust your psychology schedule or adjust your psychology classes around it. Always schedule your classes with less offerings first and then you can find classes to fit around that time. When in doubt, if you're unsure about your schedule, make sure to ask your advisor. They are here to help you in planning a schedule that you're going to be successful. If you have any questions at all, make sure that you email me.